Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. Morton. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about exercise form and technique and something you may have found uh, that, that a lot of people don't really talk about or, or aren't saying. And one thing I found over the years of training, uh, even back in the day when I was getting ready for competitions and stuff, one of the things that I found was that some exercises, at least when done in the traditional way, did not serve me well. And no matter how much I tried to make that exercise work, it just did not work for me in the way of keeping me healthy, right? So some exercises, if I perform them in the standard way, they just did nothing but injure me or inflame the joints up or cause problems. And the reason why I'm speaking about this is because the law of individuality has been trounced upon quite a bit, even though guys like Dr. Fred Hatfield, Dr. Squat, that's what he's known as, uh, talked about the law of individuality when it came down to squatting. And there has been no exercise that has made the law of individuality more obvious to me than the squat. And of course, the deadlift is a close second. I found the deadlift a close second, but squatting for sure. Now, one thing I found with squatting back in the day was that I primarily had to squat low bar form. And the reason why is because I found that when I did squats with a high bar sort of form, because my body was a little bit more upright, I found that a lot of the stress transferred more to the medialis and, and even more importantly, transferred the stress to the knees. And that caused nothing but knee pain. Every time I high bar squatted, I got knee pain or knee issues or, or some sort of issue, right? And it didn't matter how much stretching I did, how much massage therapy I did, how much, you know, rehabilitation, whatever, it always was the same. Now, I don't know if that's because of doing so much martial arts when I was a kid and doing a lot of kicking and kicking the punching bags and all this, like I have no idea why, but for some reason, high bar squats would always irritate my knees. But when I did low bar squats and I did my 90 degrees at the knee sort of form, you know, the, the form that gets made fun of on the internet, my legs ballooned and I didn't have knee pain anymore. I had great hamstring development and I ended up building legs. Now, of course, once getting on YouTube, you know, people would start to make fun of your technique or say that it's wrong. But what I'm going to say is that I was actually right. What I've also found was that a lot of people were afraid to experiment with their exercises to find out what prevents joint pain first. That has to be the first priority. If that's not made as the first priority, what will happen is people will just do things and grind themselves into dust, but not necessarily get any more results. What they're gonna do is just get injured and constantly be like, uh, you know, like I always say, a bird hitting a window. They're always gonna be trying to do the same thing over and over again, but they're just getting injured and then thinking that, oh, they've got an issue of some sort. Sometimes it's just the way that you are built. That's the truth. And unfortunately, not all of us were built perfectly. We, we weren't all formed perfectly, like as far as, bulletproof, right? Because every one of you probably has friends and you look to them perform exercises in the gym and it's like they're bulletproof, like nothing harms them. There are people like this. They seem to naturally be able to perform certain exercises in certain ways and not have any issues whatsoever and just get muscular development. But what I'm going to say is just because that's working for them doesn't mean that's what's going to work for you. Every one of us has our own injury history or our own uh, genetic history, you know, genetic uh, pluses and minuses, genetic strengths, genetic weaknesses. And if you're exploiting the weaknesses constantly, so much so that you're getting injured, that cannot be the answer, right? A, lo a lot of people too, like uh, usually kids or people that are beginners or, or don't really know much, they're always like, well, you gotta, you gotta just train those weaknesses. Yeah, you can train the weaknesses to a point, but if at any time training those weaknesses is injuring you, that's not helping, right? So. Some things are not just weaknesses, they are genetic limitations where just to train in that way or that function is just going to hurt you. It's not going to help you. You're not going to get more muscle mass gains or, or sports performance from that. I saw lots of people that go to certain sports trainers and stuff and that sports trainer would be totally obsessed with performing an exercise a certain way because they had read in some book somewhere that that's the way to get a person to 
perform the sport at the highest, highest ability, right? There's a lot of hockey players that are getting trained by different hockey coaches and stuff. And what would happen is that I had some of them come to me and say, oh, every time I squat, my knee hurts. I'm like, okay, what's the, what's the coach telling you to do? Well, they're like, hey, I have to squat parallel no matter what. And even if I'm getting knee pain, I have to continue doing that until it doesn't hurt anymore. I'm like, well, that can't be the answer. There's obviously some sort of issue or some reason why you are getting pain. Whether it's a previous injury or whether it's a muscular imbalance or whether it's a genetic limitation, that these things are worth investigating. These are things that you have to look at, right? And I found that a lot of times these coaches were so obsessed with the idea of what was supposed to happen that they would just push the client into doing it regardless of whether it ended the client's career. So I'm gonna say that just because there are trendy ways to rehabilitate certain areas, and some of those ways work, they're, they're worth investigating. But if you're noticing that no matter what you do, no matter what you do, you're getting the same symptoms from a certain exercise, it's time to really look at that type of technique and say, maybe I need to adjust this somehow and do it in a way that is not necessarily accepted by your peers, right? That, that's, that's the truth. If you look at a lot of professional athletes, a lot of them, like you see this in hockey players all the time, you'll see some of them, they do not skate or they don't have the same stride as everybody else. They don't, they don't bounce the same way. They don't shoot the same way because they're all built slightly different. And I found that the guys that are the superstars, they all have their specific flavor to them. I know a lot of you guys probably aren't hockey you know, fans or whatever, but, but there's some guys that skated and it looked like they're skating wrong or there's something wrong with them. It looks like they have their ankles tied up. They're not bending the knees way over the toes. But then other guys are saying, oh no, you have to bend the knees way over the toes in order to get good sports performance in hockey, but that's not true. Yaramir Yager skated and it looked like his knees didn't really travel over his toes at all, but he was one of the best hockey players of all time and still is playing actually even uh, though I think he's around 50 something right now and he's playing in Europe. The fact is is that there are exceptions to every single rule and that definitely includes exercise form. So for myself back in the day I found that low bar squats, you know sit in the ass back and so forth was one of the best techniques for me but other people when they squatted they noticed that that wasn't right for them. They had to do more a high bar squat and, and maybe the knees did travel farther forward than mine did and they felt better doing that. You really have to go with what feels right as far as, not what feels easy, I'm not saying that, but what feels right as far as what puts the stress on the muscle belly more so than inflaming up your joints. If you're just inflaming up and tearing your joints apart, there's a good possibility you're doing the exercise wrong for you. I used to see this all the time with skull crushers or with overhead tricep extension, like the dual dumbbell extension. I'd see guys using heavy weight and really putting pressure on their elbows, like you know, doing the skull crusher right to their teeth and coming up because they notice that it's just nothing but tricep, right? There's no lat or no long head of the tricep in. They wanted to really isolate the tricep. Well, what would happen is they'd end up flaring up their elbows. But because they wanted to do the exercise correctly, you know, or alpha-like, they would continue to do it and they'd always have elbow issues and they'd always be wrapping their elbows and stuff. Well, that cannot be the right way to train. That's, that's all I'm saying. So if you're noticing something or you're noticing a category where your body's not responding the way it should, don't be afraid to change the exercise or change the technique. And, and yeah, if you have tried all the possibilities of rehabilitation, like doing the super lightweight like I've talked about, and lowering the weight down to the bottom, you know, pausing at the bottom and, and coming up with super lightweight, and you've tried to stretch all those areas and that's not working, well then yeah, just change your technique until you find that groove or find that way that you start to fire all the muscle belly but not necessarily put so much stress on the joints because like I said the joints are already getting stressed anyway you don't have to overly stress them right the whole whole goal is to stay in one piece and to put on muscle mass so yeah that's all I have to say about that today I hope this helps you out in your training thanks a lot for watching if you need to get a hold of me just go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patient supporters and take care for now Mountain. Natural land.